Everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're starting a new series. You know, over the years I've accumulated a lot of videos and I go back and look at them and think, man, that was a good video. That was really useful and helpful to people. And so what we've decided to do is go back and find uh, the five best vehicles in a category. And we have 15 categories we're going to do it in. So some of the categories will be cars, SUVs, uh, Class Bs, vans, minivans, uh, schoolies, uh, shuttles, 15 categories. I thought, how did we come up with that many? But we've got them. And so it will be like our five best videos. And we're going to put it together like an open house. So you know how sometimes you like to peek in on people's houses and see what they really look like? Well, these are open houses, so no peeking. Uh, people have opened them up and said, hey, come and take a look. And so uh, we'll have five different cars and you can look it in and you think, well, that's a good idea. Oh, but that's even better. Or, wow, I never even thought of that before. And so if you're thinking about these vehicles, 15 categories, uh, you can decide, you'll see into each of them, so many, and pretty quickly, um, and get more ideas. And maybe you can choose the vehicle, the category of vehicle. And then once you choose a category of vehicle, you think, that's what I'll do. I'll take that from there and that from there, and I'll take a little bit from there. Man, I'm going to have a great home. Okay, let's take a look at these five vehicles. I went with the Forerunner just because of its, well, its reputation. I'm no mechanic, uh, so I want something that's reliable uh, and something that's capable. And well, it sure is. Okay, now I take my sleep very seriously. Uh, I have a, I'm an insomniac. I have a hard time sleeping. So I'm not trying to just blow up an air mattress or lay out rustic style. No, I want an actual bed. So I got actual foam in here, like two big slabs of foam, upholstery foam. So it's very comfy. And of course I've got well, I've got all my blankets to stay warm because it does get cold out here in the desert. I haven't taken any seats out or done any permanent modifications. Uh, I can just fold this back up and it's a regular forerunner. So I keep that seat folded up and then I just store my stuff over here. Now, since I spend a lot of time in the desert, I always roll around with uh, five gallons of water. Very important to have drinking water. And then everything else is just modular, like bins. This is all my stuff for my face to keep me looking young, all my creams and potions and lotions. This, this is telling, this is my kitchen. My kitchen is the same size as my face box. Uh, and then behind my kitchen, I just have uh, some of my recovery gear, air compressors and, oh gosh, I've got a bag back there that's got a toe strap and a, all the, my tire tools and what I got. A shovel, good old fashioned shovel is all you need if you're out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and you know, I'll just, if I have to pee, I'll just go pop a squat anywhere, no big deal. But what if I'm in a truck stop parking lot or someplace where I can't get out and I have to pee in the middle of the night? Well, then I've got my good old laundry detergent bottle, which is very inconspicuous when you're taking it in to empty it out. And so anyone could do this. There's nothing Anyone could do this. Here. I didn't build anything out in this. And all I carry for my wardrobe is this pink duffel bag. And it's just got all my clothes stuffed in it. And then my wardrobe is also where I keep my food. Doesn't everybody keep their food in their wardrobe? When they live in a Toyota, they do. Yeah, well, I just got a few bags here with the... Uh... I'm pretty lazy with food. I don't have a refrigerator or anything like that. Uh, I do try to eat healthy. The interior up front's pretty normal. In the back though, I've taken all the back seats out. And I just modified this door so it can swing uh, all the way out and give you full access. Um, so as you can see, we've got our Dometic CFX 75. This was the biggest fridge I could have fit back here. Um, but I love having the dual zone capability of a fridge and a freezer and being able to get out of here flies. We're trying to do a video. Be able to freeze meats and things if they, if you've had them you know, longer than expected. And, um, down here, I've got the Max Oak 2400. This is the EB240, they call it. And I love this power station. It just so slim, it fits in there. And uh, that's really one of the main reasons I'm running it is how well it fits, um, but it also performs amazingly. So right now we got a cheap platform. We're looking to do a goose gear uh, seat delete and things. Um, we got our Viair portable compressor, some other things here, um, just kitchen stuff. This is a Hot Logic Mini little oven. You can plug into the power station, make yourself a quick meal if you got some leftovers. 
Claymore um, three-face light. I love this light. I'll show you guys real quick. Um, love, love, love this light. So I use this light and magnet it on the pack racks on the outside here. So let's talk about that. So right now, um, temporarily, like I said, we're running the rooftop tent and you can't just put the rooftop tent right on the bed. So um, my buddy Greg from Pack Racks out of Gilbert, Arizona, made me this amazing pack racks with a bed rack with all sorts of custom uh, modifications to fit my tent, to fit my awning, um, and just all sorts of stuff with the Max Tracks. So over here we've got, as you can see, the Max Tracks Extremes. These are awesome because if you do burn up these pins here when you're in a recovery scenario, um, you can replace them. And I should say again, for those of you who maybe aren't, you know, super off-roady. Um, these, if you get your vehicle stuck, you can dig out a hole and put those underneath the tire, idle your truck or, or vehicle um, right out onto them. And they give them just enough grip, usually to get out of a lot of scenarios, especially in sand and snow is where they really shine. Um, but Greg made these mounts here so I can, you know, get them on and off uh, quick enough. And they're also just really sturdy and they can put a lock in them. So anyways, this is part of the pack rack system. Uh, the rooftop tent is a James Baroud Grand Raid XXL. It's about the biggest and widest one we can get on there. And I mean, you can see it. It's a little bit fat up there, but um, for trying to go extended periods of time and full time out of it for at least weeks and months out of it at a time, um, it's been amazing. It's such a big tent. It sets up so easily and uh, it's just so cool to have the 360 degree views. Some of the spots I've been in Utah um, and Colorado right by a creek and it, it's just really been a cool experience um, to have the rooftop tent. There are a lot of pros and cons though. And I made a lot of videos about that and I talk a lot in my videos on the Down to Mob channel about the pros and cons of the rooftop tent. So, it's um, one piece of three quarter inch plywood, and then the only other materials were um, four two by fours, and then three doorknobs that are used as handles because the platform lifts for storage. So, in the back here, here's a little doorknob, and you lift it up. And mostly right now, I have clothes, but I also have like a camping pad. Um, there's an air compressor back there, some hiking shoes, an extra blanket, some laundry stuff. Um, I have a power bank so I can jumpstart my own car if it ever dies. The front lifts up the same way. There's a doorknob here, and on the opposite side, it's just the same. It just lifts up. It's pretty heavy. Um, we're thinking about putting air shocks here so that it just like kind of lifts up like the back hatch. I have all the interior windows covered with Reflectex and then black fabric is on the outside. So from outside the car, you can't see in at all. This a uh, really nice BMW SUV and you have uh, been in, in the BMW for a little while now. About three years now, yeah. It's a five-speed manual, six-cylinder, inline six, and again, all-wheel drive. It's perfect for, for my needs. It gets about 21 miles a gallon, and uh, I love the thing. It's awesome. But uh, not much going on in the front. I keep my tools uh, down in the front uh, foot well on the passenger seat. So just storage, like everyone else? Yeah, storage, but mainly the tools that I work on in the car. So if anything happens to the car, uh, these are the tools I would break out to fix anything that goes wrong. Everything else is pretty much stock in the front. Now, if we move to the back here, uh, this is how I travel. When I'm traveling around, I tend to keep everything out of the front seat and more in the back. So in the back, you can see where I have uh, my bag set, my pillows, usually my headrest either here or on either side. I have a clam back or a retractable uh, tailgate along with uh, the, the top piece that opens up the hatch itself. But this is a great cooking service. And uh, here's my solar panels. These get pulled out. They're secured in there right now. So what have you got? A couple hundred watts? It's 200 watts, 15 amps. Mm -hmm. And I uh, got uh, eight gallons of water here. 
And this is pretty much my limitation on being out and about uh, in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I can double this up up to about 14 days out in the middle of nowhere without coming back into town. So this is travel mode. Travel mode. And exactly. uh, if, once you get somewhere, you'll set up camp. Yes. It'll empty out and you sleep inside the SUV. Yes, I do. And so during travel mode, if uh, probably doesn't happen very often. But if you have to stop and sleep while you're traveling, how would you do that? Well, I've actually uh, I've done this recently where um, I had to move everything within the car to one side and camp within it without going outside of the car. Uh, I actually was boondocking in a parking lot that I really wasn't supposed to be in. Most of my bags go to the front seat. The soft bags go to the front seats. Uh, these, these hard cases stack on top of each other on this side and on top of the fridge. This so, is, this is the, uh, the camping mode where everything's kind of rearranged and pulled out of the car or everything's rearranged off to the uh, driver's side. I sleep on this side and uh, got my little trash can here, my propane. On top is the oven or the stove top. I pull that down and I cook right here on this tailgate. Uh, my cookware is right here, pretty modular. Everything I need to cook. Basically you're just kitchen. Cold foods in the fridge, but it's, Pretty basic setup. Um, it's not complex. No. Uh, keeping it simple. Just going camping. Yeah, exactly. But full time. I like it this way. It's an easier way of living. I have a 2007 Volvo XC70, which is all wheel drive, and that's what I wanted. And so it, I can go anywhere I want, and not a problem. You know, the Volvos have been around for, man, since I was a little kid. Volvo mm -hmm. wagons, they were kind of a cult thing. Mm -hmm. And I I can remember looking at them and thought, man, you can sleep in there. It and it never occurred to this, <laughs> me to do this. Uh, would you mind if we took a look inside? And, sure, go right ahead. Uh, would you find... Oh, so it hooks. It does so hook. it can't just slip. Yep. A little dark in here, but uh, well, you want it to be dark, you're going to sleep. <laughs> so, seems, seems like a very uh, reasonable uh, thing to me. That. So, it's, it's a full size bed, um, and it's you know, it's got the little cubby holes you can put things into. And, uh, like I said, it's a, th it's a three, three inch uh, memory foam mattress, so it's, it's nice and comfortable. Yeah, really big, really, really nice. Yep. For for just sleeping, uh, really comfortable, all you need. It is. Yep. And uh, you've got a nice camp set up outside. Yes, it's uh, it's, it's something that we, well, I custom built. Oh, you uh, built this? That's yeah, a so, nice, nice setup. So it's a point away set setup. So it's nice. Uh, when I travel, it all comes in uh, and it pitches up to the back. Mm -hmm. And but when I'm settled, I put my stove up um, and have a nice little home. Really great. Really, really great camp, yeah, a little really camping great. setup. Yep. So there you have it, folks. You got to see five new vehicles in this category. Uh, and I hope I hope the uh, the contrast of seeing them one right after another really helped you to visualize a lot better of different ways of doing things. And that you saw that and it piqued interest and you saw some things you liked. Maybe so you saw some things that you were thinking about doing and you think, no, I really don't want to do that. So of all that you saw, what was the thing you liked the most that you thought, you know, that's such a good idea, I'm going to copy that. So if you'd write it in the comment below, that'd be great. We can all learn together. And we'll go in and read each other's comments and think, yeah, I thought the same thing when I saw that. Really? I thought that was a good idea. And that's, you know, we all have different ideas. We're all so different, you know. Uh, but hearing from each other is very helpful, I think, all the time. So if you got anything out of this video, then like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later.